excuse me, you caught me looking at the world from a different view. So today we'll be talking about my art, about the feeling and emotion and the anger. Anger is the best for art sometimes. I love my angry art, okay? So this is definitely the person who does all the art. It's me, okay? Don't listen to that girl. She didn't do do anything. It is all me, okay? You can tell by my my hair and my glasses that I'm very autistic, okay? So don't even listen to a word she has to say. It is all about me. Hey. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about art today. Art and breaking through creative ruts. Am I angry art? I basically was in this huge rut because of not feeling well, because of like mentally not feeling well, losing confidence in myself and everything. <laughs> and my husband is totally my cheerleader. My husband and my, my best friend and my other friends. He kind of sat me down the other week and kicked my butt and when I say he kicked my butt he literally told me that that Satan was smiling because he had me where he wanted me okay so for those of you who are not Christian for those of you who don't believe in good and evil FYI you're gonna hear me say all kinds of stuff on here because those are my beliefs so I do believe in good and evil that's probably another video, so I won't go into that. But anyways, so him saying that to me, you know, I see Satan as like my mortal enemy. Um, so I immediately shut down, couldn't even talk to him. Then my little rebel side came out, which gets me in trouble a lot, but also is a good thing, because it's the kind of fighter in me. I went out to my studio, which had been collecting dust and I hadn't been out didn't feel good that day at all either. Came out here, I looked at this mirror, this was just a mirror, I just vigorously started mixing paint and then throwing it on the mirror. And I have been trying to come into this studio and do these like controlled, pretty pieces of art and just going nowhere with it. In fact, hold on, I'll, I'll get you one of the things that I started. <laughs> so it's all dirty now, because when I went into my, my rage, um, it got, it got, it's not ruined, but it got messed up. Anyways, see if you can see. <laughs> so it's like all pretty, me staring off into the distance. That is a sketch of, um, uh, or a trace, because that isn't that wasn't freehand of me looking off into the distance, and I just couldn't bring myself to finish it or work on it. And I didn't know why. Like throughout this whole time, I've been going in and out of prayer, struggling to to pray, not pray, going to pray, feeling nothing, and being kind of in this desert place of just feeling crappy. So. Out of anger, I came in here and I was like, well, are you, are you telling me that I, Satan's smiling? Well, I will show you, which isn't the best attitude, but you know what? It created some really good artwork. So I started vigorously painting and what this image in my mind was this scream, like, which is what I was actually feeling at the time. Like, I just wanted to scream and it wasn't pretty and it wasn't beautiful. And what was going on inside of me was anger that I had been denying, basically. As I, as I was literally Jackson Pollock throwing paint onto this canvas, I just started crying. It was like all this stuff came out 
And finally, I was being honest with myself and I realized how angry I was. Angry at God, angry at what was happening in my life, angry that I was stuck, angry that I lost my baby, angry about the fact that I've been infertile, angry about the fact that I've been dealing with health issues for, for most of my life. And I just, it was just like this thing had to come out of me as I was painting. And finally, I was being honest with myself. And I think that there's this thing about Christianity or like trying to be a good person that you think that anger is just completely bad and has no purpose and that you should avoid it and you shouldn't, you know, oh, I can't be angry, I can't this, you know. Anger doesn't take away from your relationship with God, it doesn't take away from who you are. It's just an honesty and a, a truth about the fact that we experience this and that the that things that we go through are hard and they can make us angry. And you know what? I'm angry. <laughs> like I'm angry that things are happening to me. Yes, I'm faithful. Yes, I believe that God is doing things in my life. Yes, I believe that there is purpose in all of this. I bang my fist but I'm still angry about it. It's still hard. It's still emotional. I, I want to be, I want to be the youth director at my church again. I want my little life back. I want to be able to do things that I can't do right now. I want my husband to not have to work so hard and not have to take care of me so much. I don't like being taken care of. It's embarrassing. I don't like feeling little. I don't like feeling small. I don't like feeling helpless. I don't like feeling like a burden. I hate that. I hate it. But you know what? Like, this is why I think he has me in this place. And this is why I'm here, because I need to learn to accept love. I need to learn to accept other people's ability to love me, which is a beautiful thing. I can't always be the one taking care of everybody, but that's hard for me. I want to be the one to fix people or fix things or help people or help things. I don't want to be taken care of. Whew. That's a loaded statement, but it's true. And it's something I'm working on. And I think that in this process, and being honest about this, uh, hopefully will release some of you who feel the same way and realize that, that we need each other. This It's toxic to, to think that we don't. It, you can't be everything to everybody. You can't do everything all the time, you know? So that was like a huge truth. And this is why I love art. I love art because when you create, when you do things like art, it is an emotional thing. Art doesn't lie. Like, I have realized, and I'm sure, and I'm not a professional artist, I'm not even a great artist, I just love doing, like I love art. And what I've learned is that you can't do art unless you're being honest with how you're feeling, who you are, etc., etc because it just, it's one of the most unforgiving things. Like, I had to be honest and what came out wasn't pretty and wasn't this mask that I wear, the smile that I always have, the bubbliness, the yay, you know, because that wasn't how I was feeling. My art, which is funny, always comes out somewhat grotesque or somewhat scary. I sent it to my spiritual director, my old spiritual director, and he was like, Oh wow, scary. <laughs> when you know me, when you see me, you wouldn't expect that this is what comes out of me, but the reality is like life hasn't been easy and this is really what is inside of me at times, you know, and I think inside of all of us at times. I texted my best friend and she was like, dang girl, and she was like, keep going. And this is what I love is that she um, has inspired me so much recently and given me so much courage because she has been going after her passions fearlessly. To check her out, Victrice, she is a rapper. She speaks, 
She speaks on all kinds of things. Plus, she is passionate about women's health. I talked about her in a, a, another video. You need to check her out, Taking Back the Terms, uh, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. She writes blogs that are, ugh. Anyways, she's, she's kick, kick butt. I'm trying to keep this uh, PG, kick butt. She's amazing. Anyways, okay, rant on my bestie. Once I finally let go, what came out was, to me, a beautiful art piece. I know it's funny to call it beautiful because it's pretty crazy, but you know what? It's me, and it's honest, and it's real. And I hope that in the spirit of hashtag dare to be imperfect, that when we are imperfect, I swear that's when the most beautiful things come out of us. When we allow ourselves to be imperfect. You know, I, when I went into art, anytime I try to go into art and I try to be perfect about it, it doesn't work. Like never works, okay? When I go into it and I let loose, oh my gosh, that's when things actually come out. And I have more of a subtractive process um, than additive. It's actually more of both, like I, I add, take away, add, take away. And so I like to work on movable surfaces. That's just how I, I work, that's how I process. I have to see it first. Um, I often don't visualize a complete thing in my head first. It's something I need to start getting out and then I visualize it, look at it, take away, add, take away, add. And that's just kind of how I work. Uh, William is so excited about this piece. We have to frame it. I'm still working on it. I have some finishing touches. I'm learning a lot about finishing a piece, having to go through trial and error with like learning different fixatives. Anyways, still working on it. Mostly done but we're gonna hang it up. And he was like, I can't wait to see what else comes from you now. He was so excited, because it was like, finally I had this breakthrough. The crazy thing is, now I'm gonna go off into a faith tangent. I wanna share this with you, because I think it's really important. So that morning I had prayed. I had texted my bestie. I told her I was freaking out. I had messaged Mary and said I was freaking out. I was having a hard day. I wasn't feeling well. She said, hey, you know, did you try to journal? And I was like, I've been trying to journal, but nothing comes out, like nothing. So, but I said, I'll, I will try. And because I said that to my best friend, I, I did it. <laughs> because I, I like to be honest with her and not just blow her off. She really helps me a lot spiritually and mentally, emotionally and everything else. Later that day, I prayed. I sat there and was quiet, started to pray. Then I opened up my computer and I was like, I just need to be honest. Again, it was like this whole theme of honesty. And this is what I ended up writing out when I let go and just wrote it. I said, Lord, I feel alone, I feel lost, and I feel that I do not have the strength to do anything anymore. My fight has been fought out of me. I'm angry. I want to be beyond happy. I want to travel. I want to have a baby, and I want to live, in all caps, exclamation points. I want to adventure. I want to create. Lord, I just want to please you. I know the cross is part of living the, for you, but I have been living the cross for a long time. I want to know what I am apart from the cross. I don't just want to identify myself only as being able to carry crosses. I know you can give me strength. I know you can use me for beauty. I beg of you, Lord, to give me strength. Lord, I need help, but I don't even know what, what help I need. I want to learn something. I am stuck in a place of not willing to put in the work for fear I will never get past the struggle. I give up as soon as it gets hard. Lord, how do I overcome? How do I move past fear? How do I say how I really feel? How do I tell people my, my real feelings? <laughs> okay, so, so that's what came out of me. And like, a year and a half into all this stuff, and for the first time, I had this huge breakthrough and came out here 
grabbed the camera and did that first video because I was finally being honest with myself and I finally just like was honest with God and because of that I truly believe that he just showered me with graces and for the first time I had strength to do to, to, to be real to be honest and to put myself out there and to do what I felt he had been calling me to do for a while holy crap like that's what I have to say about that is like the power of prayer the power of honesty and authenticity it's awesome okay it's okay to be angry it's okay to want to scream your head off it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay and you need an outlet you need somewhere to get it out I go to counseling I go to a psychiatrist I go to a spiritual director I have awesome friends I have this group of girlfriends that I'll probably talk about a lot that are just my support system my husband is my first and foremost support system I have an awesome sister who is an amazing listener amazing supporter just can't stress enough how blessed I am and how grateful I am for this whole process and grateful for you for listening and encouraging me because it really does give me purpose this is probably the happiest I've been having the response to my videos and seeing that having people message me and let me know that it's helping them that gives me hope that gives me purpose you're amazing and you're beautiful and what you're going through because each of us are going through crap is hard and you're not alone don't give up there's always light at the end of it there's always the resurrection yes there's the death yes there's the suffering yes there's the cross but there's always the resurrection that is the beauty about my faith is the resurrection um, if there is no resurrection what's the point so love all of your faces I'm gonna give you a tour of my studio and show you this art piece that I'm very proud of absolutely love and yes is totally me taking off the mask here I am, see me for the truth of who I am, and y'all are amazing. So, hold on, and I will go get this so I can show you. I'm not gonna be able to do this too long because my arms can't handle, and I'm already shaking. So, this is my studio, I will show you. Let me turn it around. Working on a few things right now. I also have a podcast that I'm not doing right now with Mary, my bestie. It's called Messy Buns. We will get back to it as soon as I can breathe again <laughs> or when I'm having a good day. Poor girl has been asked me to do it for a while now and I just haven't been able to. Okay, so this is kind of my work or supply area. My hubby helped me do all this, it's amazing. This is the sitting area. Some of my photography from my professional photography days. Two of my pets. This is Gumbo. This is Hoodat. They're chillaxing. Some books, art books. My new favorite thing, spray paint. There's my mask because <laughs> I cannot do it without it. Okay, and then here is the, the piece of work which I am entitling Honesty because my best friend she was like, you should call it honesty because I told you I was finally honest with myself. So that's totally what this is. So this is the piece, kind of scary, kind of grotesque almost, but I absolutely love it. Also somewhat feminine, very me. So glad my husband yelled at me because then this happened. So I'll kind of get a little closer so you can see. So I started with the process. You'll see the drips of like the Jackson Pollock software where I was just throwing stuff on here. I did finger painting at one point for kind of the vibrations of the screens, dripping, detracting. It's just a cool process. I love art. It's just really, everybody's process is different. Everybody uses different stuff. I like using untraditional things for sure. Here, I'll get a little closer so you can kind of see. I like a lot of metallic, especially gold. Sorry, this is so wobbly. That's it for today. 
I am gonna go sit down. I love your faces. I hope you enjoy my studio. I hope that this video helps you. It certainly has helped me to have these realizations. Praise God, I love my faith, I love my God. And yeah, you're gonna hear me talk about Jesus because I kind of like him a little bit. So, anyways, have a good day and I will talk to y'all soon. <laughs>